What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> oh, boy. And today I'm going to talk about, man, um, Alabama head coach Nick Saban has agreed to a three-year contract extension, which now uh, his contract now runs through 2028, yo. Uh, but before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow, on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, uh, so feel free to DM me. And whenever I get a chance, so I'll get back at you. Uh, come high at you, boy, yo. <laughs> uh, to all you Alabama fans, I want to let y'all know something really, really, really sincerely from the bottom of my heart. I don't like y'all. I can't stand y'all. And when is Nick and Nick Saban need to go? <laughs> like, look, man. At first, I'm like, bro, like you already what seventy plus years old. Why you want to coach for another six years or so? But you know, I did a little bit of research and I understand why now why he wanted to do it. Um. Nick Saban is like 60, I want to say 61, 62 wins away from passing Paul Bear Bryant on the all-time, you know, list. He wouldn't be the most winningest coach, but he would pass um, um, Paul Bear Bryant. Now, even with that being said, it's not all Alabama wins because obviously Nick Saban was at Toledo, Michigan State, LSU, and Alabama. And Bear Bryant was at... um what Texas A&M, uh, Maryland, Kentucky, and Alabama. But, you know, he got a chance to pass him up. You know, if he wins, let's say he wins an average of 10 games, you know, the next, say he wins at least 10 games the next six years, um, he's going to pass him. Like, he's going to pass on um, Paul Bear Bryant. So maybe that has something to do with it. Um, or maybe he just don't want to go home. Or maybe he figured once he stopped coaching football, he going to be miserable with himself. He ain't going to have nothing to do. He going to be depressed. I don't know. Go fishing. Go spend time with your grandkids. Spend time with your wife. Go do something. Because, look, man, Alabama, you know, though, you know, I respect the tradition and everything. But they have been blessed to have two of the greatest, if not the greatest, college football coaches of all time in their university. Because Alabama, you know, they had some good years. Look, they won a national championship with Gene Stallings. I get that. They had some, you know, they was 10 and 2 one year with Mike Shuler. I get that. But Alabama is a program that needs a strong minded coach. When they have that strong minded, elite type of coach, you see the results. They dominate. They win national championships consistently. Um, but I don't think it's one of those programs that can survive on a, let's say, a normal head coach. Um, if Nick Saban does retire, which now it looks like he don't have no plans of doing that anytime soon, um, you know, there's, there's guys like Dabble Sweeney who they probably going to go after, you know, or somebody of that nature. Um, I, I just still keep telling myself it, it's – Look, man, LSU, every year we go out there, we compete. It, it got ugly last year. It got ugly. But for the most part, besides that, last year in the 21-0 game, you know, and, of course, we beat y'all in Tuscaloosa a couple of years ago. Um, those games have, for the most part, been competitive. Even Alabama fans will tell me, like, look, LSU is the biggest game, game on the schedule as far as from a competitive standpoint. Auburn is, is, is obviously their most heated rival. Um, and regardless if Auburn is good or not, they hate each other. Um, but as far as just, you know, when, when you talk about most of the time with things on the line, LSU Alabama is like the game, especially since Nick Saban has been over there, has been like the SEC game of the year for the most part. Um, but yeah, man, they, they need a... Uh, a great coach because you look at with LSU I mean I was never a big Les Miles guy we won a national championship with him I mean coach O Ed Argeron who had what a four and 20 something record as a head coach um you know he comes to LSU he wins LSU is a program because of 
all the talent in the state of Louisiana. Um, and you got, you know, you I give I give some credit to Nick Saban for that. I feel like we helped boost Nick Saban into what he is. He helped boost LSU into what it is. It felt like a perfect marriage. Um, you know, so but you know, by him going there, man, it, 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 as LSU fan, it frustrated us, man. Um, you know, I blame it on Rich Rodriguez, like who turned down the Alabama job, who said he was going to take it and then turned it down. He go there, Nick Saban would never end up at Alabama. He probably would have been at Texas or somewhere like that, but he wouldn't have been at Alabama. So I, I, I'm frustrated with Rich Rodriguez from that standpoint. Um, which I think he's now the offensive coordinator at Ole Miss, if I'm not mistaken. But um, yeah, man, the, the man the man go to here to torture us all for another six years. <laughs> like, you know, now granted as an LSU Tiger fan, look, we ain't scared. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna compete. We got five stars, they got five stars. But at the end of the day, I mean, look, I, I gotta give it what it's due. Like Nick Saban is a great coach, arguably the greatest college football coach to ever walk the face of this earth and by him roaming the sidelines over there with that team it makes it tough yo and then knowing now that he's not going to retire anytime soon makes it even tougher but whatever <laughs> like uh but with that being said yo that's all i got for y'all today appreciate y'all checking out the video hit the like button for your boy give me a subscribe i'm gonna have lsu and ncaa content throughout the year also, um, tonight um, at 6 Eastern, um, 7 East, 7.15 Eastern, 6.15 Central, um, 4.15 Pacific, I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout out on the live. Yo, come join me. It'll be some good stuff. Also, this coming Thursday will be the premiere of my live call-in show. Um, it'll be a two-hour show starting at uh, 6 Eastern, 5 Central. 3 Pacific, y'all y'all give me a call. I'm gonna have the number down there uh, in the description box. Y'all come give me a call and chop it up with your boy, yo. Um, but until then, yo, y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers. Go home, Nick Saban. <laughs>